Initially, this was not supposed to be a video. I was just rating apples for fun. Then I saw that it had already been seven months since I uploaded my last video, um, and I decided I could do something with this. Uh, since the only other Apple tier lists I found on YouTube reviewed either only seven different kinds of apples, or they reviewed Apple products. This video will include 26 different kinds of apples that I found over the course of about two weeks at a couple average American grocery stores in my area. At first I thought this was going to be an easy and cheap plan, but then as I ran out of apples, I found that the only apples I hadn't tried yet were being sold in bulk only. Okay, so in my quest to rate all these different apples, I'm at Sprouts Farmer's Market. And here's the thing, they've got like a million different kinds of apples that I have not had yet. You know, they have lady apples, rocket apples, um, had sugar bees, got green dragons, modi, we've got all this kind of stuff. But the problem is they're all in these bags and containers. Um, I have like a week left at home. I'm not going to be able to take these back on the plane. So there's a very good chance that I'm going to have to eat like a hundred apples uh, to make this not go to waste. I bought them all anyway, and then I had a huge abundance of apples. For about a week, my life cycle became going to work and eating nothing but apples on my lunch break, and then going home and eating nothing but apples until dinner while watching my friend Kiner play Honey Pop. Blue one. Blue one there, Kiner. Blue one. All right. Okay. Kiner, do the wood. Kiner, 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 wait. You can, do those, you can do those water ones, and then you can do the blue ones. Brian, we're literally looking at the See? same name fucking screen. I don't understand why you think you need to, like, guide me through this. I am doing this perfectly well on my own. I don't fuck. Just shut up. Just shut the fuck up. Just shut up. Anyway, after all the apples have been eaten, I came up with a ranking that's kind of hard to beat. First we have Ambrosia. I found this to be a pretty good average apple. It didn't have a bitter skin and had a pretty average sweet flavor. The flavor's like mildly sweet. I can like, you know, maybe not mildly sweet, but um, I don't know. It's maybe like half of an opal. My heart is telling me to put it in B tier. I think what stops such an average apple from being in C tier is it had a pretty good that kind of puts it a tier above C in my opinion. Autumn Glory was ranked in relation to a different apple I tried, that being the Honey's Apple, which we'll get to later. It might be a C, I think it's a B tier, you know what? It's like, it's, it's in a way the Honey's one was not, and it has a little bit more flavor, so I'll call that like a, a low B tier. I found it to be in a way that the Honey's was not, and had a little bit more flavor. Overall though, it was pretty average and a little better than Honey's, so I'm gonna be putting it in B tier as well. I've been told that Cosmic Crisp is supposed to be kind of like a super apple, and while I did like it, it was not all it could have been in my opinion. I don't really have much more to say about this one. It, it was perfectly sweet with a little bit of tartness, um, but it was more hard than it was if that makes sense, so I'm going to be putting this one in A tier. Pink Lady is a very good apple. It has a pretty good blend between tart and sweet, which a lot of apples don't get right. The only thing holding this one back from S tier is the fact that it's noticeably really hard, which makes it a little difficult to eat. Because of this, it gets a pretty high A tier rating. Crips Pink confused me, because at the store, the like stall they were in was labeled Crips Pink, but the sticker on the apple called it a Pink Lady. But after trying it, I'm pretty sure that they're different apples. That's, that's probably different. It, um... The bite feel is different. It's not like hard. It's kind of hard, but it's not like, it's not the same that a pink lady is. Because the Crips pink was less tart, I put it a step below the pink lady, which was surprising because I really like sweet apples more than tart ones. But the pink lady was tart enough to add another dimension of flavor and therefore elevated a little bit further. Envy is one that I don't really have much to say about, but I will say that it was good. Pretty much everything that an apple should aspire to be. While not my favorite, I like it enough to put in, put it in S tier. What happened to Fuji apples? Fuji apples are right beside Gala apples in terms of how common they are, but something happened. It started in B tier, but I had to eat like four of these for this video, and each one had this insanely bitter skin that just made it sink lower and lower. F is for Fuji. It sits in F tier now. I can't believe how far it's fallen from Grace. This what used to be one of my favorites. Gala apples are right beside Fuji in terms of their availability. 
they're perfectly average. The taste is okay, mildly sweet, but they tend to be softer than they are, which I think puts them pretty much right in the middle of the tier. Golden Delicious is another soft apple, but they're like soft to the point of insanity. Golden Delicious apples feel like if you put applesauce through a strainer and then put the pulp in a Walmart grocery bag and bit into it. And they don't taste bad, they're just super soft and mild, and for this I think they get the D tier treatment. Now this might be controversial, actually I know it's controversial, but I don't like Granny Smith apples. Look, I'm sorry, people who like Granny Smith apples will defend them to their graves, but I just don't like tart apples. I like sweet ones better. Granny Smith, in my opinion, is a baking apple. It's good in sauce and pies and stuff like that, but I just don't think it's that good raw. I would put these in D tier, but in an attempt to compromise with the Granny Smith people, I'm going to put it a little bit higher and put it in C tier. Green Dragons are an apple that I had never heard of, but I was actually surprised to see they were a sweet type of green apple. Getting B-roll me eating a Green Dragon apple. Those are unique. The taste is a little weird, and we'll come back to that, but for now I think it belongs in B tier. Honeycrisp rubs shoulders with Gala and Fuji and is the favorite apple of many. There's almost nothing wrong with Honeycrisp apples other than the fact that sweeter apples do exist. It's definitely a high A tier apple. Honey's was an apple that I thought was a little lame. It's crispy, but it's like watery. It doesn't really have its own flavor. It's just kind of like the ghost of an apple. I think that's another C tier apple. It's just kind of watery, and even though it does have close to my desired level of it's just the flavor really holds it back, so I think there's nowhere else for it to go but C tier. Jazz is similar to Envy, where I think that because it does nothing wrong, I don't really have much to say about it. It's, it's, it's sweet, slightly tart, it's almost like a pink lady if they got the right. It's a solid S tier apple. Juicy was kind of a bad apple. It's got that same kind of bitterness that the skin of Fuji has. It's not really nearly as extreme. Once all the juice is extracted, it has the same floral foam texture as Red Delicious. So, the taste is ultimately okay though. It's maybe like a Red Delicious turned up to 10, but with like more juice and the skin of a Fuji. This is a D tier apple. Kanzi apples are a lot like Pink Ladies if they didn't quite get the tart to sweet ratio right. It's still hard, but slightly less sweet than Pink Ladies. This is a, uh... Kanzai apple, Kanzi apple. I don't know, how, one of those, something like that. I got a lot of names wrong in my Nostalgia Critic video, so we'll see if I got that right. Kanzi! This is not there. Like, it's, it's, but it's like hard. It's a good apple. Um, I might put it in, in hey. here. Lady apples taste fine, but there's a couple of problems that keep them in D tier. First of all, little apples just suck. I'm tired of biting into them and getting a bite that's half seeds and core, and you have to spit it out and take the seeds out. They just suck. Even if a little apple tastes really good, it goes down at least one peg for being small. So the C tier taste of ladies goes down to D for the seeds I consumed. Also, it stays down there because one of them made me gag and almost throw up on my keyboard because while I was chewing it, something hard just like went down my throat and that was probably a seed. Macintosh apples are really good, a bit on the soft side, but really tasty with a good tart sweet combo. Easy A tier. Modi apples made me better pinpoint the flavor that it shares with the Green Dragon, even if it is more mild in the Modi's. So I think the best way to describe the flavor that this and the green dragon share is like when you have a fruit tree and all the fruit becomes ripe and drops on the ground and starts to rot and you get that like smell. It's like that, but without the sourness. So it just kind of tastes really ripe, like a really ripe apple. Kind of shares the same quality that Red Delicious does in terms of like uh, texture. The flavor is a little bit better than Red Delicious. Like, it tastes fine, but it's a little dry. It's got that floral foam kind of texture that Red Delicious has. I mean, you know, I turn down a Red Delicious. If someone's like, hey, you want an apple and it's a Red Delicious, I go, mm, no. And then 
if they, you know, hand me literally anything else except for maybe, maybe like a Fuji, um, I'll probably say yes. So, Modi's in D tier. It's like Red Delicious in its texture, but if the flavor was turned up to 11, and with that ripe taste, it's are all around pretty okay, but they kind of ruined my stomach. The apples and the Wendy's are battling in my digestive system to figure out whether or not I'm getting nutrients or, like, nothing calories. <laughs> I don't feel well. Opal fucking apples are the best apples. They are perfect. They cannot be challenged. Go fuck yourself, Granny Smith people. Sweet apples are superior, and this is at the top of the list. S tier. Perfectly crisp, perfectly sweet, and the best color. This is the definitive apple. Pacific Roses are pretty close to Cosmic Crisp, but maybe a tad sweeter. They're really similar, so I think they belong in the same A tier spot. Pinatas are pretty good, maybe in the middle of Kanzi and Pink Lady in terms of tartness. They're still pretty hard, so I think they go in B tier. A lot has been compared to Red Delicious in this video so far, but that's mostly due to its infamy. If you don't know, there's a perfect analog for how Red Delicious tastes. It's like this, right? But paint it red and put it in every school cafeteria in the entire country. I think Red Delicious apples are directly responsible for why so many people grow up and continue to not eat fruit as a snack, which also probably means that they're directly responsible for the childhood obesity epidemic that we have in this country. F is for fuck Red Delicious. Rocket apples are pretty good, but as I mentioned, suffer from the little apple debuff that puts them one tier below their actual taste. The is absolutely there. The problems with the flavor, it's a little bland. It's like, it's just not as sweet as I'd like it to be. This is maybe a C tier apple. Snapdragons are perfectly average tasting and really good in terms of and texture. I think they go in a low B position. They're kind of the definition of a mid apple. Sugar bees are like if you took the tartness out of a pink lady, put more sugar in, and it was like slightly less hard. I like them a lot, and I think they're really close to S tier, but ultimately sit at A for me. Okay, well that's all the apples I have access to in my part of the world, which is definitely all of them. You know, I wish that I could have added more apples to this tier list, but here in the United States, we have apples that are specific to certain states that I don't have access to without making this video take another couple years and another couple hundred dollars traveling everywhere to find other apples um and on top of that there's apples exclusive to other countries i mean there are literally thousands of different kinds of apples all over the world and f frankly i don't think that's really productive the ones that i got are really standards in american grocery stores and the ones that aren't are still common enough that you might be able to try them so i'm not too concerned about uh not having even more apples uh for this list anyway i'm curious to think what you thought about my ranking do you have a favorite apple that you think should have been on the list feel free to talk about your love of granny smith apples in a civil manner in all lowercase letters anyway there's another video that should be up soon it's very close to done, maybe in like the next month or two. So don't, don't forget, forget to like, like comment, comment, and subscribe, or, or dislike, dislike and, and, and discomment, and, and, and describe. Goodbye.